I I don't know what to say at the moment. It's it's uh it's the most nerve-wracking gold course in the world, isn't it? Yeah. Having to be such a tough quest to finally win, it feels that much better. I really am so proud to have won this great championship. You know, I've never played an entire tournament with my A game, and this is pretty close. I can't tell you how fortunate I am to, to win this tournament. I'm probably as happy as I've ever been in my life. So it's all. I just really don't know what to say, but... I'll come back down out of the clouds one of these days. I just couldn't be more excited for me to get it done on the 40th anniversary of the Sabies win. His birthday is incredibly meaningful. Can't put into words what it means that I'll be able to come back here for a lifetime. I want to welcome the world to Butler Cabin. What a pleasure to be here with Augusta National Chairman Fred Ridley, the 88th edition. Fred, another spectacular memory made here today. Uh, this has been a fantastic uh, tournament, Jim. Our patrons here at Augusta National and around the world were treated to quite a Sunday Masters finish. It was just uh, amazing to see how things broke open on the second side for our champion. We're pleased to have with us last year's winner, John Rahm, here to present the jacket, and Scotty Shuffler, along with the low amateur, Neil Shipley. Fred, you know how important the amateur participation is to the history of this tournament. You played in it three times yourself. What a performance by Neil this week to be here in Butler Cabin, to be recognized. It is, Jim. We've had five great amateurs who competed this week, and we congratulate Neil for carrying on this great tradition. Neil, you played very well the entire tournament, and we're paired today with one of the legends of the Masters, Tiger Woods. What was that like today, playing with Tiger? Very special. It's a day that I'm going to cherish forever. Um, he was great to me out there, and to have all the patrons out there rooting both of us on was uh, phenomenal. Well, you have created such a stir going back to your play at the U.S. Amateur and a following. And I, I know it's been told, but you graduated in just three years at James Madison University. You got a master's degree at Ohio State, and now you got kind of a master's degree here. So how much does this one mean to you, and where do you go from here with golf? This week is uh, going to be one of the best weeks of my life and something that I remember forever, especially being able to play the Tiger and uh, just just the whole week in general. Uh, the members were phenomenal all week and, um, and hosting us. And, and thank you, Mr. Ridley, for uh, having a great tournament. Congratulations, Neil. You continue to ace the test every single time. Well done. And now... Fred, we have our champion for the second time in three years. It's going to be a kind of a neat exchange. We've seen these two go back and forth, but what a performance by Scotty Shuffler. It was unbelievable. Uh, Scotty, welcome back to Butler Cabin. Your play this week uh, was just simply spectacular. You know, it seemed like every time someone made a run at you, you made another birdie. Uh, how did you stay so calm with all of that? Yeah, I did my best. You know, I uh, did my best to stay calm out there. I. Uh, Try to stay patient on the course and was able to to make some key shots and key putts today to kind of keep my round going and um you know ludwig played played great today you know he made a good move at me there on the back nine and you know, i was fortunate to kind of hold him off there towards the end well done scotty just a couple questions for you first off the shots into nine and 14 i thought the one at nine just changed the whole direction of the final round tell us about that one and what it meant to you at that moment yeah, I hadn't hit many good iron shots, which is uh, a bit unusual for me. Um, I'd hit some good ones, but they weren't really ending up where they were supposed to. And so uh, I had that bogey there on seven and a nice nice birdie put on eight. And then going to number nine, it was nice to kind of get that feeling of hitting a really well-struck shot. Um, and then it kind of set me up to have a really nice back nine. Meredith, I don't know how you did it. This has been, of course, something the two of you have been talking about, the timing of everything for months. She's back home watching is there a message you'd like to pass along to her right now? I'm coming home. <laughs> I'll be home as quick as I can. Um, yeah, I love you and I'm coming home. That's all. What a time in your life. I mean, how do you put this into words? You win the Masters. You're about to be a father for the first time. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, you're about to make me cry here in Butler Cabin. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's a very, very special time for both of us. Um, I really, I, I can't. I can't put into words what it means to win this tournament again. I, I really can't put it into words what it's going to be like to be a father for the first time. So I'm uh, looking forward to getting home and um, celebrating with Meredith. And uh, it's been a long week here without her. Um, but I'm 
Thank you so much. For you. Congratulations. What a spectacular performance. And Chairman, it's time for the Green Jacket. It is, Jim. John will never forget your victory last year when you won on the birthday of your fellow countryman, Seve Ballesteros. We look forward to you competing and wearing the Green Jacket many more years here at Augusta. Congratulations. And we'd be honored if you would now present the Green Jacket to Scotty. Congratulations, Scotty. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate it. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.